Hello, good morning. I am Louise Lydiard, Marketing Manager here at OV. And for those of you who joined us at our last live event in St Ives for Chocodex, you will see that we are in a brand new location this morning. We are up in beautiful Harrogate at our CBD site, where we are hopefully going to take you through Cara Malicious and our capabilities within this beautiful range and what it is we can do for you. I'm going to go and find Andrew and Andrew shortly and they are going to take us through this. For those of you who have never met Andrew and Andrew, you are definitely in for a treat. So without further ado, follow me. I'm Andrew Quinn, Commercial and Technical Manager here at Confection by Design, launched with Valley Crew Group Harrogate. Um, I'm a bakery technologist by trade, having spent 40 years in the bakery, edible lots yeah. and confectionery yeah. industry. Yeah. Andrew. Andrew Lofthouse, I work in MPD. I've got a lot of experience in bakery and confectionery and in ice cream as well. Um, we've prepared you a short video on behalf of Harrogate and for Confection by Design. And then we'll join you back in the main presentation area. For those who have never visited this beautiful part of the UK, Harrogate is situated to the north of the city of Leeds and west of York. Established in the 1330s, Harrogate's popularity grew in the 16th century. William Slingsby, a local soldier, discovered a sulphurous mineral well and thought the water possessed similar health and healing properties as the spa waters in Belgium. This led to the town being titled the English Spa. It was the mineral waters of the area that led to the growth in artisan, caramel and confectionery manufacture. The flavours in the caramel being used to mask the sulphurous taste of the well water. From these humble origins, the town of Harrogate has become synonymous with artisan food and drink excellence, spurring on such renowned establishments as the world famous Betty's Tea Rooms, Tailors of Harrogate and of course Confection by Design. It's this time honoured pledge to traditional and artisan caramel and confectionery manufacture which are the guiding principles for Confection by Design, part of the OV Group. The company has been established for over 100 years in various guises and is now well known for caramel products. With a wealth of expertise and the perfect location, we are well prepared for any development opportunities you would like to challenge us with. Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, we hope you enjoyed that little video around the site, the area and a bit of history into um, CBD and the site up here. So before we get started, um, we've got some, some few little tips and tricks for you. Um, so this is going to be a recorded event. So if you would like to re-watch it or send it to somebody else in your organisation to also watch, then this will be a live link that we will send out to you after this event. Um, so look out for that in your inboxes. This will also have a Q&A session at the end. So if you have anything you want to ask us at all about anything that we discussed today, you will be able to do this using the chat function in the top right hand corners of your screen, which is a little speech bubble with a question mark next to it. So any questions, please do send them in. So gentlemen, agenda Hello. for today. Good morning. So I believe we've got quite a packed agenda today So we are going to start with the importance of caramel, some of the trends around this category um, and take you through why we as OV Confection by Design believe this to be an important category to get involved with. Yeah, and then we're going to run through and characterise the wide range of caramel themed products we do here at OV Confection by Design. We've also prepared a short video on how our own PD process and engineering is slightly different here at Confection by Design. Then, really exciting part, we are going to do a live unboxing with you. We hope you've all received something in the post, so we will unbox that with you shortly. And then we're going to have a mouth-watering display of products and application with bakery, desserts, confectionery, ice creams, all showcasing the products that you can get here at OV Confection by Design. We've also put some time aside for a Q&A session. 
And then my favourite part, this is a part one of a part two event, so you will get a little snippet into what to expect next time. And then we'll have a summary and wrap up of how to get in touch and of course keep in touch with us here. So without further ado, I think we should jump in. So why is caramel important? We've gathered a few facts for you today off of Mintel in order to really reiterate this point and why we believe caramel to be such an important trend in the market. So to start us off, the caramel market is supposed to increase by 7% this year alone and has already increased significantly since it came about. This is evident in the last five years, there has been a 155% rise in new product launches with either caramel or salty caramel as an ingredient. Gentlemen, have you ever bought anything recently no. that has got salted <laughs> caramel or caramel as an ingredient? Yeah, I think, I think let me just see what I've got down here. He says hiding a label. Like Blue Peter, here's yeah. one I made earlier. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very, very indulgent. A West Country luxury ice cream with salted caramel. That sounds oh, amazing. Really nice. Love it. And what about yourself, Andrew? Anything well, else? I've got uh, my caramel biscuits here, so I'll be eating those as we go through the show. Are you, are you going to share those no, with us? Be. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, worth an ask. Um, so that just goes to show that there are so many po um, products on the market at the moment that have caramel or salty caramel as an ingredient. But to further um, enhance this, there has been over 4,900 caramel products that have been launched in the past five years for the confectionery bakery and pastry, ice cream and dairy segments in Western Europe. So this just goes to show this isn't just a UK trend. This is something that spreads across Europe and is something that is continually growing. Sorry. Um, this is also a global trend, which is highlighted in this um, Mintel chart, which shows that indulgence is something that everybody across the globe looks for when looking at snacks, when looking for something to purchase, to have a little treat for themselves, so this graph just goes to show that, again, this product range, which is highly indulgent, is also sought after across the globe. So a final little um, snippet for you is that caramel is also the third most sought after flavour in the US when it comes to when it comes to candy and dessert flavours. So again, just further enhancing the fact that caramel is really sought after when it comes to indulgence, flavour profiles and is something that we all look for. So if that hasn't enhanced this enough for you and hasn't stressed the importance of this range enough, Andrew, what actually is caramel? So the Oxford English Dictionary definition of cat doesn't get any. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's a syrup or a sugar heated until it turns brown, which in itself you can use as a flavouring or a colouring for food or drink. Or if you combine it with butter or cream, it'll form a thick sweet sauce which is going to be very ably demonstrated by my colleague Andrew. This is me. This is you. <laughs> okay. Where you on? <laughs> so if we start with a frying pan, you've all got a frying pan at home, haven't you? Nice Andrew, one. have you bought a new frying pan? We've upgraded <laughs> since rehearsals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in the frying pan, we then add some white granulated sugar. You can use caster sugar as well. Sometimes that works a little bit better. And we heat that to 160 to 170 degrees C. And in doing that, we then end up with this caramel here which got all the flavour and all that intensity of, uh, of flavour. We can then, as Andrew was saying earlier, add a cream or a butter. So if we add the cream to that, uh, that heated um, caramel mix, we then end up with a, a caramel sauce. In fact, we've got one here. I'll just show you that. Prepared, you? Yeah. Prepared. <laughs> okay. So we've got a rich caramel sauce. So all that caramel flavour is there in that sauce. Yum. Okay. Just pull that to one side and clear up. So I believe we're going to take people through like a range of products that fall into this category that we make here at OV Confection by Design. We are. So that's a traditional caramel, but this is what um, caramel means to, to confection by design. So if we start off here, we've got a butterscotch. And a butterscotch is made with a brown sugar and butter. So it's slightly darker than you would see in a toffee. So here's a toffee which is made with a white sugar, still using the butter, so you've got quite an indulgent caramel and butter flavour. And we also now have a vegan toffee. So there's no uh, cream, dairy, fats in there. So vegan toffee, and it's actually got a coating on there, so it's suitable for, uh, for ice creams and things like that. So it does look a little bit uh, covered in terms of a photograph. So Andrew, are we supplying these hard or high temperature okay, boiled glad, products? Glad you asked. Um, so you'll hear us talking about kibbling through the product ranges, 
Uh, and kibbling really is size reduction. Um, so the different sizes that we can offer, uh, the smallest that we do in the uh, top of the scotch or even in the vegan catalog is one to four millimeter. We can do right the way up to six to 15 millimeter. Um, some of the toffees and butterscotches are naturally palm free because we understand that's relevant to the European market. Uh, if they are, we can make them palm free for customers. Um, lots of different flavors and colorings you can get in there. Uh, we can barrier coat so we can apply uh, cocoa butter, our SPO palm oil, um, and we can chocolate coat and that gives a real indulgence to the products. Yeah. Okay, so we also have a range which is aerated. So here is a honeycomb. In actual fact, that's honeycomb in the UK, but it does have different names across the world, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. In fact, um, it's known as Hokey Pokey in New Zealand um, and Sea Foam in the States, I believe. I like the Hokey yeah. Pokey. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's a high temperature uh, cooked sugar. There's no dairy in there, but it is aerated. And because there's no dairy, it's also uh, a vegan product. So that's vegan, uh, vegan suitable. We also have another product which we've called Toffee Com. It's fairly similar, but it's a hybrid between the, the traditional toffee that we talked about earlier. So it has the buttery flavour of toffee, but also it has the aeration of the of the honeycomb. So it's the best of, of both worlds. So Andrew, how are we supplying the two aerated products? I'm glad you asked. Um, so as Andrew was saying, the honeycomb is naturally palm free. Uh, toffee Com really excited because it's uh, it takes the, the texture uh, of the honeycomb uh, with a bit more flavour inside there. Kibbling sizes, in other words, size reduction sizes, one to four millimetre. Uh, typically, two to five millimetre is most popular, right the way up to six to 15. Uh, we can barrier coat, uh, most appropriate for ice cream, dessert inclusion, uh, and then we can chocolate coat again for the inclusion market. And am I right in saying that Toffee Comb is actually exclusive to OV Confection by Design and has been trademarked, mm. so it's yeah. specially for us? That's right. That's right. Great. Okay, so part of a softer range, we have a traditional fudge. We've got butter in there and um, it's got a, a fondant in at the end of a process. So there's a very fine sugar particle uh, throughout the fat matrix. We also have, again, on the softer theme, a truffle. Truffle's probably slightly softer than the traditional fudge. And this one here is demonstrating a, a chocolate version, a chocolate uh, flavoured version. So how are we supplying those softer products? I'm glad you asked. Um, so on the fudges and the truffles, we can do three sizes. We can do an extra small, which is averaging four mil. We can do a small, which is six millimetre. We can do a large, which is 10 millimetre. Uh, lots of different flavours and colour inclusions you get in there. Again, we can make these products palm free uh, if required. Uh, put inclusions in there. Typically, we can put uh, the likes of maybe cocoa nibs to get like a crunch, like a cookie dough. Um, we can barrier coat them for inclusion into ice cream. It can be freeze resistant. Particularly important, actually, we can make them bake resistant, particularly the fudge, for bakery applications. Uh, and again, we can chocolate coat for the indulgent market. So lots Perfect. Of the next one looks okay. very exciting. So if we just recap on the vegan, we have the vegan toffee. There's also the honeycomb, which is vegan. But we've also got a soft range, which is our fudgy range. So that's very similar to the fudge, traditional fudge. There's no dairy in there, so as I say, it is vegan. But because of that, you start off with a white background, which you can then colour and flavour and make it suitable for your particular application. So how can we supply the, uh, the fudges on you? Um, so as Amanda was saying, the top colour that you see um, on the layer of the fudges that we've got um, is typical of the colour that you will end up with during the production process because there's no uh, milk proteins in there so you don't get the main reaction of catalysation. So we then can add all sorts of different um, colours and flavours in there. So we've got bubblegum there, we've got um, Turkish Delight, we've got a salted caramel, uh, we've got a raspberry, with raspberry flavour, raspberry colour and freeze-dried raspberry inclusions. Um, again, we can barrier coat them. Uh, we can also chocolate coat them, uh, dark chocolate, so it keeps the vegan theme. Well, they all look really aesthetically pleasing, and we've quite obviously got a really great range of capabilities within this range. But why would it be that a customer would come to OV Confection by Design out of the other people in the market that can also produce similar style products? Well, we have prepared a short video which will just take you through our MPD engineering process. Perfect. In the MPD department here, um, we take customer briefs, 
and we innovate our own products here as well looking at fudge, toffee, honeycomb. We work to customer briefs and we can develop to specific flavours and texture profiles and we work around current themes such as vegan and to current flavour trends as well. So when a customer comes to us for a new product, we work very closely with them and um, they can come to site, they can see the, see the product being made up in the kitchen and if it's progressed to factory trial, they can see it being made on the production line as well. Um, we can work with them in terms of meeting their flavour, texture, appearance. And it's nice when they come to site, we can get things done quite quickly. They can see as well all the other samples that we make and maybe fit some other products into different briefs that we've got definitely can, can create a bespoke experience for them here and um, it focuses their attention all on their brief, little tweaks for them in the kitchen that maybe other people can't, we can do that quite quickly. By building the bespoke equipment, if a, a customer's looking for a specific ingredient or a specific product and we don't have the ability to manufacture that at the moment, we can build some equipment that will actually benefit the, um, the product that we're looking for. So it's a great benefit that we have the engineering capabilities to make kits on site. They've made us a small um, chocolate coating pan for the kitchen, so we can now make chocolate coated products upstairs and get lots of samples out of customers. When the customers are on site, we can see their immediate reactions, we can see what they like, and it is always really quite nice to see when one of the products that you've worked on and that you've developed is is what they're after and then it's even better when it launches and you see it in the supermarkets and it's on top of cupcakes or in a cookie. Yeah, we're really proud of how we uh, take the MPD process from, from brief all the way through to the HBN, including making our own equipment. That was a really, really great explanation mm. in that video, so thank you very much for that. Um, so now, moving on to the live unboxing. Hopefully you have all received something that looks very similar to this in the post. If you haven't, please let us know and we would be more than happy um, to send one out to you. All we need is to your address and we can get these to you as soon as possible. So, inside this little caramelicious goodie box, Andrew, I believe you are going to take us through this product Ooh. here. Oh! <laughs> Thank you very much. right out and then Andrew this one's for you okay. so can you just tell me a little bit more about what we have given um, as a little treat for mm. everybody but also what products are inside of them that um, are made here mm. so wrapped up neatly in here is one of Holly and Amy's legendary brownies Holly and Amy work in the MPD department um, and in there you have our latest edition well one of our latest additions to the range which is the millionaire's truffle um, and that's based upon the millionaire slice. So you've got cocoa nibs in there, emulating the chocolate. You've got some uh, biscuit flavour in there and caramel flavour. Really, really indulgent. Really nice. Okay. okay. You should also have a chocolate bar, which we've developed specifically for this event. It's a milk chocolate bar. But also within there is a salted caramel crisp, one of my favourites. And I'm hoping that we get to eat those afterwards because mm -hmm. I actually want to try them. <laughs> um, and also within those, you have a little sachet of each of the raw materials that we have put within each of those products. So if you'd like to do some home baking of yourselves or simply just try the products on their own, then you can also do that. Um, but on top of those, you've not only got a little goodies, you have also got these very odd looking fact sheets. Andrew, yeah, can you yeah. just talk us through what these actually are and how we can utilise them? So what we, these are called was, these are called product configurator cards. And what they do is, as you'll notice, they give a lot more detail to the products themselves. So if you're, um, you've got an MPD project and you want some specific attributes to the inclusions, tell you the size, tell you the colors that are achievable, um, the allergy, uh, the dietary advice, uh, box sizes, MOQs, lots of information that'll kickstart your MPD project. Oh, great. OK, yeah. so basically they are a really useful tool that our customers can utilise when working on an MPD product. And you can basically use that to communicate with our MPD team. Yeah. So that's fabulous. Yeah. But also on there, you've got some um, application examples as where those products can be used. So I believe we've also done some pre-prepared um, applications yeah, to show you as well. We certainly have, yeah. yeah. So we'll just start with the first one here. This is the, the bakery selection. And it'll just show you where some of our products have gone into or can go into. So we just start over on this side here. 
uh, with the bread. So, Andrew, we've got a uh, hot cross bun on this side. Yeah, we've got a hot cross bun. That's been running for some years now with a major high street retailer. It's got a bake resistant fudge and a bake resistant toffee in there. Uh, kind of budget to be in that. And we have some cupcakes. Yeah, cupcake back top decoration. So, you've got some uh, gold lustered chocolate coated honeycomb on there. You've got some mini uh, chocolate fudge. Uh, and some, some salt down for as well. Oh, well, great. And yeah. chocolate brownie down at the bottom. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's a vegan slice that's recently loaded into one of the major coffee shops. Uh, done really well here. And on top of there, we've got the vegan salted caramel fudgy. Okay. And our products will go into the cookies there. Yeah, so we've got a, uh, a dark chocolate coated ginger uh, cookie, we've got a salted caramel cookie, we've got a, a treacle toffee cookie as well. And the awesome muffin. Yeah, muffins, they've got the um, bake resistant fudge and the bake resistant toffee as well. And is this a donut on this side? Well, yeah, <laughs> it's actually uh, a yum nut, which let me get this right now, it's a cross between a donut and a yum yum. That is and right, it's, yeah. it's all about the top decoration, so as I'm told, it's all about Instagrammability. Do you have that, Instagram? Not, <laughs> <laughs> Do you have Instagram? I <laughs> well, they look great. If you want to move yeah. us down, we'll go to the next uh, selection. So this is a confectionery board. Uh, again, it just demonstrates where our, uh, our inclusions can go into products. Uh, so over here we have uh, marshmallows. Marshmallows with salted caramel pieces. And some chocolate sticks on the bottom. Yeah, that's probably a, a seasonal theme. We've got some mint um, caramel, sorry, mint crisp in there. Okay, we've got chocolate coating here. Chocolate coated honeycomb. And then the traditional, the chocolate bars. Yeah, we've got salted caramel in one and butterscotch, both in different sizes because a lot of people now are doing the extra thin chocolate bars. And some teardrop chocolate. Yeah, again with salted caramel pieces inside. And some spheres. With uh, butterscotch. Now this looks interesting, this uh, chocolate bar. Yeah, that's a banoffee, so you've got a banana in there and you've also got some banana flavoured toffee that we provide. And we've just gone through Easter, so we've got the Easter egg, it's very seasonal. Yeah, that's a front face with salted caramel fudge on there, um, kindly provided by our sister company, OB County Confectionery. Yeah, so they are produced down in our St Ives site, which is, if you tuned into our last Chocolate X event, you would have seen some of those, but we actually produced around 1.4 million wow. Wow. <laughs> that's quite a few that's easter a eggs <laughs> yeah. okay and we've also got another board prepared so this is uh, desserts showing you the uh, the desserts where our inclusions can go into so we have uh, a lemon tart on this side andrew yeah lemon tart with our lemon fudge so that's the vegan lemon fudge on top a cheesecake is it yeah it's a, a peruvian um lime cheesecake with millionaire's truffle on top a really indulgent fudge piece that we've done and we can put inclusions into yogurt yes yes like a corner pot there you've got a mango yogurt and you've got the uh, raspberry fudgy okay oh. and then a lead dessert yeah and you've got a barrier coated bronze dusted salted caramel piece there. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, and then over here, this looks like a block of cheese. Oh, it's one of my favourite. You've got, uh, it's that's his sticky toffee, so we've got some toffee in there uh, in a smoked cheddar cheese. Okay. Wow. And we're not putting inclusions into fresh strawberries, just Not yet, yeah, but we'll I think that was just for the aesthetic. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, wow, okay. That, okay, that sounds fab. Yeah, we can also put inclusions into ice cream, so we'll make you an ice cream. Later. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> it is not even half past nine yet, and this is my Enjoy second ice cream of the day. Okay, so here we go. There's the, uh, the ice cream. And we'll put some caramel sauce on that we made earlier on. Putting it to Put that you. on as a, uh, as a topping. And then what we'll do is get you to, to decorate the top there. Perfect. So and I would get top. down from this seat, but if I get down, you wouldn't be able to see me, so I'm just going to have to lean <laughs> over the desk. So I'm going to put some of this um, bronze dusted cinder oh, toffee on there. The most expensive uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> I am very expensive, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I okay. also believe not only do we do ice creams, but we also do like beverages. So things like mm. milkshake. Yeah, we can do a milkshake. Um, chocolate. Yes, please. I'm going to get okay. fat, aren't I? <laughs> if we do any more of these live events, so I'm there we go. definitely going wow. to put on the timber. Wow, that looks good. Like and you want squirty cream? Of course. It's not a milkshake without squirty cream, is it? And am I allowed to top this as well? Can you I? can. 
Yeah. There Perfect. We go. So I think I'm going to use. I'll put your straw in there. Thank you very yeah, much. Some toppings on. I'm going to use the um, salty caramel fudge pieces, which I believe these are the yeah. four mils. Yeah, they're the extra small. Yeah. Perfect for top decoration. And I've just thrown half of them across yeah. the table. Um, cheers, everybody at home. I'm sorry you two don't have one, but cheers. Okay, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Mm. Perfect. Lovely. But before I get carried away and eat and drink all of this, which I will do when this ends. Um, we have a bit of a Q&A session now where you can ask us any questions you have around anything that we have spoken about today. Please feel free to use um, the chat function um, in your top right hand corners if you do have any questions, but we are a little bit tight for time today. So if we don't get around to answering all of them, please do not worry when we send you the live link to the recording at the end of this event, we will also answer your questions within that email. So just look out for that. So we have a couple of questions coming in on this screen over here. So one of the questions is around packaging formats. So what sort of packaging can these products be provided in? Okay, so because um, we're B2B here at OB Confection by Design, we will do typically a five kilo box for the toffees and the butterscotches, um, 10 kilo uh, for the fudges and the truffles, um, but also we have a, a, a plethora, which is a good word, that is a good word. <laughs> of other um, pack sizes, which I think if I delve through Andrew's drawers, I think oh, I'll Oh, here fun. we go. <laughs> Don't know what we're diving into here, do Long we? Draw. Sorry. Okay. So we've got a uh, 65 gram. Either. So they are the 100 yeah. mil jars. Yeah. Yeah. 100 gram pack. So these are more of our retail selection. Mm -hmm. So our 800 mils. Yeah. Got a few more down here. One point They're one getting kilo. bigger as you as you put them out. One point one kilo. Yeah. And we've got some some satchels. Satchels. Okay. And last but not least. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> What can I say? So basically we do a wide variety of both B2B style packaging, so more bulk options, but we also have some opportunities to pack down into some more retail or food service style formats as well. So basically just get in touch with our MPD teams or your sales um, member and we can help you with any packaging options. Good question. Great question. So next question. I know we've touched on this a little bit, Andrew, but um, what about coatings? So what sort of coatings okay. do we have available for this sort of product range? Yeah, so we are nut free, so we can't use um, nut uh, based fats, but we can use RSPO, palm. We can also use uh, chocolates, waxes. In fact, for chocolates, we usually use a milk chocolate, but we can use a, a dark chocolate. Uh, if we've got one of the vegan suitable inclusions and we put that in a dark chocolate, that will maintain the vegan suitability. Perfect. And also speaking of vegan, um, there is a question that has come through around our vegan alternatives and whether they are also produced on a vegan like site. So obviously they're yeah. produced here. So do you just want to give a bit more background, Andrew, into, mm. into that? Yeah, I mean, we do um, process milk products on site, but we have what we call a vegan vegan program and a vegan protocol in place, um, which we look at uh, training, um, cleaning of the lines, verification and also product challenge testing. So if anybody wants to get in touch, we're happy to supply all the information. Perfect. So we do have a nice range um, of vegan suitable products. So if you, again, would like to get in touch with our MPD teams over anything to do with allergens or requirements that you have for your product ranges, then we'd love to hear from you and we would be more than happy to develop things mm. alongside you. So that is actually, we are running out of time yeah. today. So that is, uh, we are coming to an end. So that is all the questions we have time for at the moment. But like I said earlier, we will send out any more answers that you have questions to um, after this event. And also you can just reach out to our sales team. There is a contact detail at the end of this session. So if you want to ask any questions, you can do so there as well. Um, so last but not least, um, we have a little clip for what to expect for Caramelicious part two. <laughs> Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry. Hi, everyone. This is the uh, gentleman and ladies from Connecticut. First of all, thank you very much for a great presentation from our friends at CBD. We have really missed you all during this year, but hopefully we will be able to get together very soon. Until then, we would like to take the opportunity to remind you about all the crazy stuff we can make inside of this factory and in our innovation lab. And um, we're planning to show you what's been going on here, as well as give you some great innovation news. 
So watch out, people. The show is moving to Sweden in September. Stay tuned for exact date and timing. Until then, we would like to take the opportunity to wish you all a fantastic summer. Take care. Take care. Um, fellas. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, they are just showing off their brand new t-shirts, which they're obviously really excited about. Um, but that is all we have time for today. We really hope you enjoyed our half an hour Caramelicia session, and we really hope to see you on part two. We will be sending out lots of details as to how you can sign up to that. But for today, it was really nice to see you. We hope you have a lovely rest of your week and goodbye. Mm, yeah.